Yes now, bless now. Don't forget the rest now. Des at King of the Pit TV signing in, people. Yo, I had to jump straight back onto this. The last Iron Maiden uh, recording I did, the very first Maiden record, I had a whale of a time. I checked the video recording the next day. Halfway through the recording, we start to get a bit distorted. The uh, video footage isn't great. And I apologise in regards to that, but because of that, I want to make it up to you. And I want to jump straight onto this second record, Killers, because I don't want to let you maiden heads down. I let myself down a little bit on that, but I've learnt my lesson, alright? I think it was in regards to the FPS. I was having a little bit of a, disrupt, a disruption uh, with the webcam. And that was it. So I'm going to see you in one second. What I'm going to do is actually look this footage back. And make sure that everything's good, okay? So um, this one's the Ides of March. And as always, you know you can access the full album commentaries from the moment I upload them as soon as possible. Just via the link in the description. Alright, so let's get on with this. And we're all good to go. This one is the Ides of March. We're listening to the remastered record purely as this playlist in particular seemed to have full access to all of the songs. This is from the official Iron Maiden page, so we should be all good. One minute's 45, so I assume it's a little bit of an introduction. And we got Raph Child on afterwards, alright? So let's go. We've got Paul Diano on this record as well, all right? Adrian Smith is now on guitars. He wasn't on the initial record. Steve Harris is the writer. Why has Eddie got some tight leather jeans on on the front? I've never seen that before on this cover. Great production, at least on the guitar solo. The lead guitar really pops. Here we go. Here we go. Raph Child coming up. First real tune, Raph Child coming up. After a brief uh, advertisement, I would assume, given it's the Iron Maiden channel, have they allowed commentary? If that's the correct term to use, maybe it's commentation, maybe it's simply just comments. Don't think my internet's doing too well, is it, people? So, I'll see you in one second. Yo, right. This is Raph Child, people. Let's get straight into it. Three, two, one. Shout out to the Maidenheads. Come on. Great production, yeah. How good is that production? That's powerhouse right there. That sounds fantastic. Them guitars, that bass line. The sound of the bass, the tone of the bass. Very heavy as well.
Uh, so what I was saying on the first record is, of course, if you know me by now, you know I'm not too fussed about lead guitar solos, like just long egocentric, like wanky solos. But Maiden, Maiden have got some really tasty leads, really powerful, hard hitting leads, and they do it right. They just sound really good for some reason. I mean, already this is sounding leagues ahead of the self-titled, in my opinion. Just down to the production value, it's... This is remastered, but man, they've done a brilliant job on the sound. This just sounds like a really fun song to play on the guitar, like really fun. Tight playing, nice groove to it, nothing too over complicated, it just sounds like a real nice riff to have under your fingers. That was rough, child. That was heavy. That was a good tune. That I like that a lot. That that's um, giving me really high hopes for this record just by listening to that tune. Nacho cheese is the answer to that. Don't get me excited. Come on now. Why are you so aggressive with your cheese jokes? Murders in the Rue Morgue is coming up, but yeah, just through listening to rough, child. I think this record is going to be a lot more entertaining and a lot more connective to me than uh, the self-titled record, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. So let's move on. We're on track three of 14.